These are the Star Wars ABCs. You can read along with C-3PO and me in your book. You will know it is time to turn the page when you hear R2-D2 beep like this. Let's begin now. A is for Atat. The scariest thing that I've ever seen is the terrible Atat walking machine. As big as a house on mechanical legs. Whatever it steps on, it smashes like eggs. B is for Bantha. A Bantha doesn't have a name. If you want one, you have to exclaim, Hey, you over there, the one with the hair. And the banker will come if it's tame. If I had a banker, I'd name it Samantha. C is for C-3PO. You are made of shiny nuts and bolts. Your brain is full of amps and bolts. Your ears are circuits, I suppose. You sniff with an electric nose. But I wonder what's the part that makes you such a worry, Wart. Well, really, I don't know what it means. D is for droid. Droids come in different shapes and sizes for different jobs and enterprises. Droids are like robots and do what they're told. I wish I knew some place where these droids are sold. I'd buy one at once and give it a broom and tell it to go in and clean up my room. E is for Ewok. The Ewok is a friendly sort. He's fuzzy, cute and rather short. He doesn't look like me or you. He looks more like Winnie the Pooh. F is for Force. The Force is a power or energy field or some kind of skill just a Jedi can wield. It's something that's hard to put into rhyme. You can tell that I'm having a terrible time. Whatever this skill, only Jedi attain it. And since I'm not one, it's hard to explain it. G is for Greedo. Green and full of pointy spikes. Have you ever seen the likes of Greedo's funny face design? Who said his face looks just like mine? H is for Han Solo. They call him smuggler out in space. They call him clever in a chase. They call him brave. They call him loyal. They call him daring in a broil. And one more word I near forgot. Leia calls our Han hot shot. I is for Imperial Stormtrooper. An Imperial Stormtrooper thinks it's fun to zap folks with his laser gun. Such rude behavior of the trooper makes him an awful party pooper. J is for Jabba. Jabba the Hutt, I've heard it said, never brushes his teeth or makes his bed or trims his nails or combs his hair or sits up straight in the dinner chair. In fact, if you would know the truth, Jabba the Hutt is rather uncouth. K is for Kessel Run. Oh, what fuss a place in space where the spice ships race when the cargo loading's done. is for Lando Calrissian. Lando was a gambling man, always making bets. He lost the Falcon ship to Han to pay his gambling debts. But he is General Lando now. He leads the bold attack. And that is why, and also how, he's got his Falcon back. M is for Millennium Falcon. The only word that rhymes with Millennium Falcon is Malcolm. And that's the reason this Starship song isn't long. N is for Nine-Num. Nine-Num isn't dumb. For smarts, he's very famous. Nine-Num isn't dumb. But boy, his silly name is... Oh, is for... Jedi Knight in days of yore. 
guardian of the peace is at reign, or to teach young Luke the Jedi ways, and so conclude Darth Vader's days. P is for Princess Leia. Princess Leia is not the kind of princess you so often find in Tales by Anderson and Grimm. You know the type, quite dull and prim, sticking close to Dad and Mum, waiting for her prince to come. That kind of life was sure and hincher. Leia's much too full of ginger. Q is for quiet. Scientists say that outer space is a very quiet place. For a billion miles around, there's not a peep and not a sound. Wait, what's that screech? My goodness gracious, Jabba sat on small salacious. R is for R2-D2. He never eats and never sleeps, and only talks in bloops and peeps. He's clever in so many ways to tell you would take days and days. Briefly, he's like a computer, only cuter. S is for Skywalker. Farm boy on a far-off planet. That's the way young Luke began it. At last, a Jedi Knight. T is for Tonton. The Tonton is a shaggy beast that is quite large, to say the least. He's larger than a kangaroo, and larger far than me or you. He's friendly, kind, and doesn't bite. And that by me is quite all right. U is for Ugnaughts. I'd like to say something about them that's good, like they're really not bad, just misunderstood, but that isn't true. They're terribly rude and not at all nice. And so to conclude, the only good thing about Ugnaughts I see are far from... in dread disguise. Weep, like burning coals, whose are these eyes? Weep, whose hollow voice alarms the foe? If you find out, please let me know. I'm too scared to ask. You travel through the universe and visit every star. A million miles you traverse to galaxies afar. So we would like an explanation why you never stop at some small constellation that has a barber shop. X is for X-Wing Fighters. X's are not the fighters there are seen. The letter X is what I mean. Y is for Yoda. To be a Jedi, you must go to the Master Yoda. Ancient, wise, judge him not by his size. Force of the power called the Force. Z is for Zuckus. Uh-oh, here's that bad quartet of bounty hunters, Boba Fett, Zuckus, Bosk, and Idiot. I am very glad to state that I have never, ever met Zuckus Busk or Boba Fett. And if I had a date for lunch with IG-88, I think I'd be late. We've tripped from letter A to... Now it's time to say adieu, and may the Force be with you too.